Hey everybody, welcome to our Wednesday night Epic Empire team call. I'm super excited because we have the beautiful Jericho McMatthews. I was saying Jericho Matthews for some reason, I don't know why, but I think I posted it wrong on social media, so I apologize, but it's Jericho McMatthews, right? Right? Yeah, you know, it's there's a funny story to that. Okay. <laughs> I'll just tell you in a minute. Okay, awesome. Well, Jericho, one of the things that I love about this woman, and I don't know if you guys experienced this, but when you're doing her workouts, is her cueing like, and her voice like super perfect and soothing? I don't know what it is. Like, I can just sit there and listen to her talk <laughs> all day. Um, but it's, it's just, it, it's soothing and it, it's motivating. Um, I was able to meet her at Summit and at Leadership got to work out live with her and I tell this I told the story to you guys and I told on my social media but we were in at leadership and I was right there in the front row and I was really head I'm an autumn calories girl to the T right I'm like in her fan club <laughs> um, and so I was really hesitant but I was a typo girl back in the day like I was the girl that loved Billy Blanks before Beachbody and so I was like you know what I'll give this a chance I didn't do combat like that just wasn't my jam. And so I was going to give it a chance. And I was really going through some personal struggles with my seasonal depression that I struggle with and stuff going on with business and life. And I was at leadership away from my husband, away from my kids and, and feeling just kind of blah. So I'm sitting front row and Jericho and Joel take the stage and they pump on their music and they start killing us with this amazing workout. And while I'm working out, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the music or the moves or what, but like whatever stress that I had going on at that moment, like totally got released and I looked like a complete retard. Every time Chris, the photographer would come up my face, I'm like, please stop. Just don't take pictures of me right now. Because I had tears streaming down my face while I was working out. And I totally credit to the fact that this program releases so much tension and stress that we have going on right now. And it could have come out in a perfect time when everybody is stressed out for the holidays, for election, the election season, thank goodness that's over. Um, but everybody's really stressed out. So I am just super thankful for it. Today is day 30 for me. So I have finished. Um, I am going to announce like all my weight loss and all that stuff on my social media tomorrow. Because I want to weigh myself in the morning. <laughs> Sounds bad, right? Um, but Jericho, we are so pumped to have you. You are a stunning woman. I mean, you're gorgeous inside and out. But we are so excited to have you. She is a mommy, like most of us. She deals with, you know, the breastfeeding and running around with her job and having, you know, a spouse. So she can totally relate to y'all's lives as well. So I am going to give her the floor because you don't want to hear me talk anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Jericho. I'm going to give you the floor. If you can mute your lines so we don't cause any interruptions. Awesome. Thank you so much. And just I'll start off too by saying, I'll, I'll tell you guys what's going on, but I, we are currently in a vacation rental in Venice Beach. It's sort of a long story. We moved and um, the place that we moved, we found out there was a permit issue and long story short, my Wi-Fi here is not so great. So at any point, if I'm starting to freeze or you guys can't hear me, I'll totally dial in. So um, maybe just shoot me a chat in the chat box uh, or let me know. Can you guys hear me okay? We can hear you. Your sounds perfect. Yay, I love it. Okay, cool. Uh, and my boys actually just went to run a little errand. They're going to be back. So in a moment, you're probably going to hear all kinds of mayhem. Um, I still haven't showered. I just got back. I had crazy meetings at the office after getting uh, my workout in the afternoon and uh, put my son's dinner on the stove. So it's just cool. Like I look up and I see these chat boxes and you guys like, it's just cool. I see Christmas trees. I see moms doing mom stuff and I am right there with you. This is my life too. And I just want you to know that, um, it's madness. <laughs> I'm not even in my own home right now. Um, but, uh, thank you for the introduction and, um, quickly yeah, on the, on the Matthew slash Mick Matthews story. <laughs> So my maiden name was McDuffie and my husband and I got married in 2014 and his last name was Matthews. And we actually decided to break tradition and combine our last names 
So we are Mick Matthews with McDuffie and Matthews. So sometimes people get it wrong. No worries at all. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? Today's the last day of November. We've seen so many cool transformations with Court of Force. That's so exciting. You just finished 30 days. Um, holidays are coming. This has been, this last year has been uh, the busiest, most chaotic, insane, awesome year of my life. Um, my son just turned 17 months old. Oh, hi. I had someone waving. Um, hi. <laughs> She's cute. I see you. Um, it's just, it's been really crazy, awesome, and super, super busy, and, um, but great stuff happening, and I just want to share more with you guys, so uh, I guess I could start just by giving you a little bit of background for those of you guys that don't know me, so I'm new to the Beachbody family, sort of. Um, my background is in fitness, mostly with group fitness and in the gyms. If you guys weren't a part of Les Mills, I know um, you were talking a little bit about just a few minutes ago about Les Mills Combat, so... Les Mills is a company based in Auckland, Auckland, New Zealand, and I was an international master trainer and presenter for that company, and I did that work for close to 10 years um, just out of college, and I studied um, psychology and phys ed and kinesiology, so I kind of fell into fitness on accident, I guess you could say, planning on working in education with psychology, and then through my years uh, you know, at school, I started personal training and teaching group fitness classes. And an opportunity presented itself right after I graduated to become uh, a national trainer with, with Les Mills. And so I jumped on it, which is how I met my husband. He's from Sweden. And that was in 2005. So uh, lots happened. I traveled a lot. I trained a lot. And around, I think it was 2011 or 12, I think 2011, um, I was cast in Beachbody's Les Mills Pump and Les Mills Combat. So Beachbody and Les Mills joined forces which is how I was introduced to the Beachbody family originally and um, really loved that project. We were a huge cast of, I think, 12 presenters and um, it was a really fun process. Joel was also in Les Mills Pump, which is when I really started working with him. I knew him before that a little bit, but um, we really started working a lot more after Les Mills Pump filmed. And uh, because Les Mills Combat came out after that, which was uh, mixed martial arts inspired, Joel and I lived uh, closest to Beachbody headquarters, so we were the ones that were always chosen to go out and represent Les Mills Combat. So we were, uh, you know, booked on Super Saturday events and things like that, and um, we got to meet a lot of you guys uh, and, and get on the road. And then a couple of years down the road, they decided to sort of part ways and end the, their uh, partnership. So for me, uh, I was actually really bummed because I loved all the work I was doing with Beachbody. But also, you know, I was at a point in my career, you know, where I really felt like I was hoping for a new challenge. I was looking for, um, you know, just, I, I was at a place where I felt a little bit stagnant and I wanted some, uh, you know, some evolution. And then I became pregnant. So I got pregnant on my wedding night unexpectedly, <laughs> which is really cool. And so that, at that time, I was traveling a lot with my work and really, uh, you know, didn't want to travel as much anymore, knowing that, um, you know, I was going to have a new priority in my life. So it's crazy. Just stars aligned and Beachbody gave me a call. And at the same time, I just um, got offered this opportunity to create a new program. So it was just, it's crazy and fast and awesome. And I started creating Quarter Force when I was still pregnant. So it's been a pretty cool journey. And Joel and everyone at Beachbody was super supportive <laughs> of the whole process. And it's, I joke all the time with Joel because, you know, he's, uh, he's recently married, but doesn't plan to have any kids. And he was so kind of weirded out by the whole mom thing and, um, you know, breastfeeding and all that. But he knows so much now about mom stuff. <laughs> and we tease him all the time. But he's been uh, a really fun partner in crime. And we're great friends. And it's been a blast. Uh, just created the whole creation process and then seeing it launch. Like I said, it's just, it's like I blinked and now we're here. Uh, it's been a very, very busy year, but we're excited and the program's going awesome. People love it. And I'm so excited just to see the results people are, you know, getting from it, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally. It's been a, a really, really cool um, process. That's awesome. I know that a lot of people have questions. Are yeah. you open for some open discussion? Yes, absolutely. Fire, fire away. 
Awesome. Um, I'll, I'll start because I know that people get nervous. So you guys be thinking about your questions that you have. But um, I get this question a lot, and I think that you could be the perfect person to answer. Nursing and the meal plan and the workouts, what are your recommendations for our customers and, and coaches with nursing and making sure they keep their milk supply up? Sorry, any guys that are on. <laughs> yes. You know what? It's so funny because – I feel like I've been so desensitized. And then I had a call recently where we seriously got into talking about breastfeeding for like, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. And then afterwards I was like, Oh, the guys probably didn't want to hear all that. But, um, gosh, like it's such a cool thing. You guys to be able to, uh, aren't our bodies amazing, right? That what we can, what we're capable of doing. It was such a great aha moment for me creating this program as a brand new mom, um, breastfeeding. And by the way, so my son is 17 months and I never I actually, you never know what it's going to be like, right. Until you have your first child. Um, I'm still breastfeeding. I never thought I would go this long, but I'm still breastfeeding. We're, we're, we're really weaning. Um, but it's, it was, Hey, if I made it past filming, I thought I'm going to keep going because they were grueling hours and tough workouts I was pumping every three hours on set, just so you guys know. Um, it was a really interesting process. But here's my, my take on the whole situation and my advice. Prioritize yourself and your, your health and your happiness, you and your baby. So for the nursing mamas out there, you know, the most important thing is that, you know, how you feel, how your body's feeling and how your baby's feeling. So nutrition-wise, if that means not following uh, the calculations to a T, I say go with your priorities. Uh, just generally speaking, and you'd obviously need to talk to your doctor, but add around 500 calories so that you're keeping your milk supply up. If at any point you feel like it's not, uh, if it's dropping in any way, uh, then you know you might want to boost your supply or excuse me, boost, boost your uh, caloric intake with things that are. Um, really good for lactation, like oatmeal and things like that. So you can do a little research on that. Um, but I actually have no problem at all. I think there's a huge misconception with nursing and high intensity workouts. Uh, all three test groups, as I was leading into uh, test groups and filming, I don't know if any of you guys have done half and half or half and half harder. It was actually the CDJ today, one of them. Um, I filmed those workouts so close to, I ended up with a C-section. So I waited six weeks to, to work out, um, per my doctor and I cried my first workout. It, I've never, I don't remember being so physically deconditioned in my, at least my professional life. Cause I've worked in fitness for, for so long. And it was, um, it was really hard for me. And it really gave me a huge aha moment that that's what people feel like when they start their fitness journey right? I mean, I, maybe some of you guys can relate to that. And, um, you know, but for me, I was jumping into my first workout knowing that I just signed on to create a new, you know, program with Beachbody and one that's all about, you know, working from your core. And I just had my core cut in half. So, um, so it was challenging for me, but what I want to tell you is I did it and you don't have to do it as as fast as I did and jump back in and get your fitness back that fast. Um, that's not a normal thing. What I did was not a normal thing. Um, but I was able to do it and, um, and successfully nurse. And that was my priority. You know, being a mom was my number one priority. And, um, so that meant that I had to sacrifice looking super duper shredded during filming, which is something that I was able to do pretty easily before before I became a mom, you know, leading up to photo shoots and things like that, working for Les Mills and, and I um, was a Reebok athlete. I go into photo shoots and I knew exactly what to do to dial in my nutrition to look, you know, a certain way and be pretty shredded. Um, but being a nursing mom, I didn't want to sacrifice my milk supply for that. So you can get your fitness up you can absolutely successfully uh, nurse. You should be able to. <laughs> um, and uh, to me, that's, that's the most important thing. So it was, yeah, it was cool. It was very empowering being able to do that all together. And um, hey, I thought I was looking pretty good as a new mom filming the workouts. So 
and um, feeling good. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I know we have like Courtney's got a newborn baby there. Melody's got a little baby she's feeding. Yeah. Right. Congratulations, Mama. <laughs> All right. What questions do you guys have? I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi. First, I want to say I love all your hairstyles in the videos. And I always look forward. I literally bought the di bonus DVDs just so I could see what new hairstyles and outfits you were going to wear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just wanted to say you're, you're fantastic and I love you to death. Um, I have sort of a unique issue. I am 5'5 five five and I'm a double zero, 111 pounds. So, you know, even before I started the program, this program is kicking my butt. I consider myself somebody that's in shape, um, that, that's, you know, been in shape at least for the, you know, really well for, I think the last seven or eight months and on various beach body programs with this, this one is really challenging me. However, I don't really want to be the small and I wanted to get some advice from you because anytime I gain weight, I gain it in my stomach first. Mm -hmm. So how can I put on weight, but still have the lean midsection? Yes. You know what? Um, every, right. This is like the question, right. About spot training. And can I lose it in just this one area? Uh, or gain it in one area. I wish it worked that way. I've, we're all made so differently and it's a lot of it's genetics. Um, but in terms of, you know, maintaining, are you, do you feel like you've got a good amount of lean muscle mass? Yes, I do. But I, you know, I obviously just, and I'm so sorry, by the way, I can't see you right now. I, I can see three faces, but you're not one of them. But that's totally okay. Well, um, you know, I, I am in, you know, lean shape. I do have a, a, a flat stomach, you know, thanks to the program. Oh, there you are. Yay. Hello. Yeah. Um, I do have a flat stomach thanks to the program, but it, it appears that every time I try to gain weight, I'm gaining it in my stomach instead of the other areas I want to gain it because I want to continue to build more muscle. I just want to get bigger though. I want to, you know, I want to bring my weight up at least 10 pounds. Okay. I mean, what are you doing in terms of your nutrition? Have you bumped yourself up a calorie bracket? That's probably the thing is I'm still eating close to the 1200 to 1300 calorie bracket right now. Yeah. So if you're looking to gain, I would suggest bumping up to an, to another calorie bracket, uh, and, and staying on maybe the leaner side, the protein, like increase your protein. Um, and I can't see you gaining, you're not going to gain body fat if you keep your nutrition clean and you're doing these workouts. Um, but, but yeah, when you're saying, you know, especially gaining fat, I, I couldn't see that happening if you were, you know, eating clean and, and keeping the intensity of the workouts up. So it's, it's, it usually, what happens is usually when we kind of fall off a little bit and uh, we start seeing it in those areas that, everyone's a little bit different. Some people see it in their legs first or their, you know, their butt or their arms. Some people are, um, you know, the abdomen and that's a very common area. So, um, yeah, I would, I would slightly increase it and then just kind of keep an eye on your body. You seem to be really tuned in to your physique. So just keep going with it and, and stay tuned in. But I mean, I can't see your whole body, but you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Next. You guys don't be scared. I have a question. Hello. I love your hoodie. <laughs> uh, me too. It's a size small, which is like the best thing for me ever. So I was like, yeah. girl. I feel so sad because <laughs> and I just did a post on one of our tops that came back in stock to fight for it. Uh, the little off the shoulder top. Yeah. And every time we do, Joel or I do posts about the, the apparel line, everyone's like, yeah, but the brawler hoodie is out of stock and, or the, the shirts and we feel so bad, but you guys, we had no idea people were <laughs> going to love this apparel so much. So it's, it's a really good problem to have. But once that hoodie comes back in stock, if you guys don't have it, it is the coziest, it's the warmest, softest material. It is, it's my favorite by far. It's so comfortable. I can't agree more. I stopped Beach Body for like two weeks until this came out, and I was like, yeah. "I'm buying it right now." There you go. <laughs> I know. I I sent them an email, and I I was like, "Here's what I need," because there were a few items that I needed, and then I wrote a Christmas wish list, and I put the brawler hoodie on for like my mom and my brother and all like. <laughs> 
So you guys come first. But I'm like, when you guys get extra ones in, please let me know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, my question is really on the nutrition part. I love all of the meals that are in the book. Yeah. Is there uh, I, the spaghetti squash turkey meat sauce thing? Oh, my gosh. I love it. That's I my recipe. Like, Woo! <laughs> well, the barbecue pizza one, is that you or Joel? That's Joel. That one was Joel, yeah. Oh, they're all so amazing. Are you guys going to come out with some new recipes? Because there's, I mean, there's not a whole bunch, but there's enough to keep me kind of contained for now. But you know, I, to be honest, I, I was kind of shocked when they asked us for our, like, hey, what do you guys eat? What are your personal recipes? I'm like, really? You're going to, like, you can use those? And anyway, it's, it's been a really cool collaborative process. So I'd love to share more of my recipes and things that we eat at home. Um, yeah, I would love that. So I think too, because Autumn is, she kind of has the whole like fixate thing and she does her recipes and stuff all the time. Like I don't want to step on her toes, but I, I would love to share more of the stuff that we make. Um, those uh, jalapeno burgers were ours too. We, my hubby and my, we make those all the time, but I love that people are loving the recipes. I have the jalapeno burgers one week and the spaghetti squash the next week because they're just my staples. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I get this. I love hearing that. Uh, the That's only so other, good. like, the biggest problem I have is peanut butter. I, I love, love peanut butter, too. Peanut butter. And I I don't know how to stop eating it so much. Cause do you like, do P PB2? Yes, I do it every morning in my shakes. I do the chocolate vegan with the milk half milk, half water, and then the PB2. And I love it, but I still, like, I don't know if it's because my journey started in August. So I don't know if it's because it started so soon that I'm still craving yeah. things and I, I'm so used you to it. You know what? To be honest, I, well, I'm a peanut butter lover too. Uh, I use PB2 in my shakes. Sometimes I'll use real, okay, sorry. One sec. They're locked up. <laughs> Hang on one sec. I'm going to let my, hi, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, go ahead. Hi. You guys came from... Gathering questions, especially if you have questions about the moves or what's coming next oh. year, things like that. I could ask questions for hours, but I don't oh, want to take up time. So, <laughs> so um, but back on the PB2 really quick and just like a little, a little bit of advice, I would say, mm -hmm. oh, you want to push the buttons probably, huh? Um, for me, I find that if it's not in the house or if you don't eat it for a while, kind of lose interest in it right and you just kind of have to retrain your taste buds over time so I know there are a lot of peanut butter fans out there and I'm definitely one of them um but yeah you kind of have to wean yourself off of those things <laughs> over time or maybe trying to replace it with something else perfect I'm trying to do those like uh the ice cream where you put the bananas with the peanut butter I use the peanut butter from Whole Foods. So it's a lot better than what it was, but I still like, I'll buy this whole jug and I'll eat like half. Of oh my gosh, the peanut butter, the Whole Foods, you guys, when you can, do you guys have Whole Foods, you make your own peanut butter and they have so many yeah. different varieties, <laughs> like the honey roasted peanuts and the, That's, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel you. <laughs> my go-to and my love. But I have to talk on Sue, I love you too. My <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, you guys, Beck, so Beck, Beck is here doing the moms, you know what that sign is. <laughs> Sorry for the screams. Oh, no, he wants milk. <laughs> is daddy there? You guys, we were at the park, and, like, he, he, there are moms there breastfeeding, <laughs> and he'd, like, run up to the moms and go, mama. <laughs> oh, my gosh, poor baby. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, yeah, so we're going through the weaning thing right now, but I'm sure some of you can feel my pain. Oh, well, it only lasts so long, so enjoy it, though. It's special. <laughs> awesome. What else do you guys have? Well, I'd like to say something. All right, Dina. No, and I have, I nursed my son for 18 months, so I totally know what you're going through. I have three kids, and I nursed them all for a really long time. Um, but I have to say that I am totally loving this. I've had three kids all via C-section. I never thought I would have abs, and I have abs. Yeah, amazing. And I, I don't know. I'm so I'm so excited about this because not only do I get to unleash my stress on this workout every morning, I have abs, and it's crazy because um, I lost 120 pounds, and I did it 
I started with Tybo, which was crazy because Jitana was talking about that earlier. And um, when this came out, I was so excited because that's like taking me back to my roots of where it all began. And it was so exciting. And I never thought I'd have abs. And I have abs. So Yay, yeah. congratulations. Oh, and it's so cool. And you know what? We've had so many amazing moms <laughs> come through our test groups that said, I've never had abs in my life and this program's giving me abs. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Mama. Hi, Lex. <laughs> Hi. Daddy's home right now. Right? <laughs> On the stove. Mommy made it when you were gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daddy's right there. Daddy's right there. <laughs> Poor thing. She went to jail. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> You're going to start lactating now. <laughs> Oh, where's our hashtag mom life? <laughs> I know, right? hashtag mom life. If you get a chance to check out Dina's awesome workouts, like her videos are so amazing on Facebook. Yay. Thank you so much for that, Dina. Seriously, that's cool. And I like, I, I look at you guys that have, <laughs> I just have one. So I'm like, you have three. <laughs> that's so cool. I don't want to you too much longer. Does anybody have any? I have a question. Hi. Hi. Is, am I on or is it someone else? <laughs> um, I cannot do the Sphinx blasters to save my life. I don't know if anyone else has issues with that. Everyone um, else has issues with it. No, you're not alone. I you're not alone. Cannot get it. I can't get it. <laughs> it's a do tough, you have any tough move. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, you know what? And it's, it's, um, Here's the cool thing about the fact that you're doing this either on BOD or on DVD. You can rewind, yeah. listen to our cues several times. Uh, the move happens in four phases. Right. So you start in a tricep push-up position. Now the, the, the phase of the move that most people get messed up on is the second and third phase. So you drop your chest toward the floor, your elbows are pointing straight back. So it's just like a normal tricep push-up at that point. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens here is you shift your body weight back. And here's two really important things. Your chest needs to stay in contact with the floor. Right. And your forearms have to go flush to the floor with your shoulders staying on top of your hand. Most people push. There you go. On this, I can see you, Amber. <laughs> so keep your shoulders. So when you go down again, I'm watching. Now, when you shift back, there you go, your shoulders stay on top of your hands. And what a lot of people do wrong is they almost go back into like a child's pose position mm -hmm. or um, they shift back into a, I'm trying to think of the, the pose. It's not pyramid pose, but their forearms are on the floor, but their shoulders are way far away from their hands. So it's taking the load out of the tricep. You want to keep the muscle loaded. So if you keep your chest close to the floor, shift your body weight back keeping your chest on the floor and keep your shoulders on top of your hand, keeping your shoulders on top of your hands. Mm -hmm. um, you should keep your muscles loaded. And then all you do from that point is shift forward again and then push up. I know this is really hard. I'm holding my laptop in one hand. <laughs> I'm telling you how to do this move with one free hand. Um, but I would just suggest going, go back through it again. I would really love to do a tutorial on this. So maybe Joel and I can get, get together and do a Facebook live or do, um, we have another photo shoot coming up where we're going to run through some of the, most uh, challenging moves in quarter force and do kind of like little tutorials on them. Yeah. And uh, the Beachbody blog, I don't know if you guys saw this article, but I had to text them because this, the Beachbody blog just posted an article not too long ago. And it was like the three hardest moves in quarter force. And um, I don't know who named the article, but they were definitely not the hardest moves <laughs> to accomplish. So I think they, they, they either renamed it or just took the post off of the wall from the quarter force on the book. Um, but it was like, you know, guarded square ups and some other great conditioning moves, but they definitely weren't the most challenging in terms of coordination. So you're not alone. Um, definitely <laughs> this cluster, we'll, we'll get a tutorial down and slow it down. We've actually been doing that live on our super Saturdays. And um, where were we last? Oh, Philadelphia. So we were in Philly, Philly a few weekends ago and we did a little like, tutorial on that move. So it's challenging. Um, just so you know, not everyone, um, I would say everyone in our test group, our live test group, mm -hmm. there was no one that could do it. You know, the first, 
So we'll turn it normal. Makes me feel what better. What I recommend doing, besides following Jessica, so she does the kind of plank walk down and up option for a modification, just even doing um, modified tricep push-ups on your knees will really build the strength in your triceps so that you can build up to the, uh, to the tricep blaster or the okay. sphincter blaster is what we need it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. And I, I love your workout. I never thought I would do that kind of workout, but I really do love it. And my favorite part is when you always say to the, say to the people at home, you know, can you do this? Yes. Say yes. And I, I always love it. And I think that's great. So thank you for the program. You are very welcome. Thanks for the question too. <laughs> awesome. All right. I have a question. Hi. Hi, Jericho. Thank you so much for taking your time to be on the call. I absolutely want to thank you for that. I have a question um, because a lot of us are coming out of the 30-minute workouts yeah. and kind of become a habit, especially I've had some coaches who are new moms as well, and um, 30 minutes, of, you know, is like their thing. What would you say to them? Can they chop up the workouts or or no, does it, does it need to go the full 47 minutes? What would you say? That's a great question. Um, and I guess I have a couple thoughts on that. So 30 minute workouts are, are really effective. I mean, depending on what your goals are and, uh, can you grab that? That might be, thank you, babe. Sorry, phone's ringing. Real life happening over here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you want to grab back? I can watch Rexy. No? Who's that? Oh. Um, so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Do you want to watch him or should I take him? Um, probably take him. 30 minute workouts are really effective if you're working hard for those 30 minutes, right? So I'm not sure what 30 minute workouts they're, they're used to, but in Court of Force, for those of you guys that haven't done the program, we, um, we work from six up to 12 rounds in our MMA structure. And then, uh, our other workouts are also 12 rounds of work, three minute rounds, which means they work up to about 47 minutes with the warm up and the cool down um, in there. If 30 minutes is all you've got, you know, do what you can do. I will say that MMA power and plyo, those are our 12 round workouts. You could, if you can only make it six rounds on those workouts, do the best you can. <laughs> if you only have 30 minutes, just go as long as you can and do your best. Uh, they are more intense than MMA speed, which is our only six round workout. So, and I think that one actually clocks in around 20, 26, 27 minutes. But, um, but yeah, I think that a lot of people, I don't want to use the word spoiled, but people have gotten spoiled with 30 minute workouts, but here's a truth moment, a little truth bomb for you guys. I think it was, was it leadership? Yeah. Leadership, leadership and maybe even summit summit leadership. Super Saturdays, if you guys have taken our workouts, Joel and I's workouts, um, Jatan, I know you were talking about doing the workouts with us. They're, they're pretty intense, right? We, I mean, we don't just come right out the gate, but we make you guys work hard. And um, we really noticed there are a lot of people that were lacking fitness um, in a big way. So I know, you know, obviously people are doing other programs or have been doing other programs, uh, that are less intense. Again, you can work your own intensity. So I want to preface that. <laughs> um, but the fitness level was kind of lacking. So depending on what your goals are, I would suggest absolutely. If you've only got 30 minutes, just do what you can do. If you want to chop them up, you could chop them up, but you're not going to get the same results as if you follow the program, the way that we wrote it and work your way up. Um, build your endurance, build your fitness level. So we want you to push past the six round mark and hit nine rounds and then hit 12 rounds of work. And um, your, your cardio is going to improve. Your endurance is going to improve. That's where you get into the fat burning zone. You stay there a little bit longer. So if you've got the time, please stick with us. You know, like there were the days when hour long workouts were the norm and it's like, 30 minute workouts. No, let's do 25 minute workouts. No, it's like, what is the movie where it's like six minute abs? No, let's do five minute abs. <laughs> I, nobody wants to, you know, it's, it's, it's hard work, but it flies by. If you've got the time, just do it. And your results will depend on, you know, the time you're <laughs> spent doing it. So hopefully you guys can um, just stick with the program. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 
I have a question. I have a question. Yay! I love the question. Trace, do you want to go first? Oh, thank you. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for being on this call. Um, I just want to say, Jericho, number one, you are like my favorite person right now. You're like my best friend in my head. Like, seriously, I'm like, well, what would Jericho do? Like, Sue is like checking you out for styles. I'm like, she is my motivation for today. And you are completely awesome. Uh, my question that I have is that I consider myself very fit for the most part. But of course, like many of you guys, I, my trouble section is my midsection, but not necessarily my obliques because those are, I have a very, very tiny waist but I have a flub that just won't go away. And I know that you mentioned that we can't necessarily do target spotting, but it just won't go away. And I'm not sure what to do. And I hear you talking about embracing your core. And I really don't know what that means. Is it me? Am I sucking it in? Am I trying to hold firm? I'm trying not to hold my breath. I'm just, I'm not sure what I should be doing. That's a really great question. Yes. And you know what? You are so not alone. So many, so many of us and including myself, uh, have that target area, you know, for me, naturally, I don't walk around with a six pack. I get a lot more developed in my obliques and get the kind of the V shape down by my hip bones, but right in my, my core, my center around my, my belly button. That's the area that goes very last. That's the last, you know, area of body fat for my body to lose. Um, but yes, so through the workouts you hear us talking about engaging your core and keeping your core tight, core strong, you're absolutely right. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, and you guys are probably going to get this question too. So it's important that you understand uh, how to address it or talk to them because in other workouts as well, you people go strong core, tight core, uh, and I'm happy you brought it up. So it's about drawing your navel in toward your spine. So you can do that while we're all sitting here. So drawing your navel in towards your spine and then tightening your abs. So it's holding them in. It's not only just squeezing your abs from where you are right now, it's pulling your belly button in towards your spine and then tightening and trying to train yourself to work from that position. And when you're working out in core force, we talk about, you know, breathing and breath. So when you're throwing punches and you're working from an engaged core and you exhale, you know, when you're throwing a punch or a kick, for example, when you're leaning back, throwing a kick and you're exhaling, crunching your ribs and towards your hips, you're able to engage your core even more and get your core muscles firing. Um, as opposed to not thinking about your core at all and kind of, you know, just relaxing. If you were to kind of lean back and throw a kick, you can injure your back. So it's really cool when you engage your core that way, it helps to protect your spine uh, and also help you get more out of the moves uh, when you're thinking about engaging the muscles as you're doing the, the moves. Perfect, thank you. Nicole, did you have a question? I did. Um, first off, hi Jericho. I wanted to say you are absolutely gorgeous. Oh gosh, thanks. So is your little one. Um, <laughs> so threw my keys in the toilet today. <laughs> <laughs> So you know. Mom life, yes. He's awesome. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> and um, I'm, I too am a mom, and we're going on breastfeeding two and a half years. We're Yay! weaning, we're weaning, but uh, we're still going strong. So we're starting to come out of it, and that's been interesting. Um, that's cool. Just on that note, really fast. Um, so everything that I read, I don't know if you other moms that breastfed can attest to this, but it's like everything that I read said oh, your baby will let you know when it's time to like wean and, um, you know, they'll become disinterested and all this stuff. And I didn't know what it was going to be like. And I just thought, yeah, breastfeeding, woohoo. Like we're going strong. And then, so I don't know, I think Bex was around six months old. We taught him the basic signs for sign language, you know, like food and more. And I tried to teach him milk and he didn't get milk. You guys, I'm not kidding you. A week and a half ago, he never picked up milk until a week and a half ago. He's 17 months old now. And all of a sudden he starts walking around going, mama, <laughs> wanting milk. So moral of my story here is, is he's like, he's, he's more interested than ever <laughs> in breastfeeding. Yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting process. <laughs> so I feel you. 
um, so my question is, um, unfortunately, I don't yet have the program. Um, when I was about to get it, an unfortunate event happened, so um, I have yet to actually receive it, take a look at it. I did um, do, I was injured when the uh, preview came out, so I was able to do a little bit of it, but I didn't get a whole lot of movement because I had a sprained ankle and a sprained wrist. But my question is, I'm assuming there's a lot of core movement going on in there. Um, and what I'm wondering is what to expect core-wise. Um, so, trying to like put it out there without putting it out there, but um, tonight was my first workout back. Um, but I've had to not work out for a while, and <clears throat> I can't do core workouts at the moment. I, like tonight, I had to skip the um, like the Superman and stuff. I can't lay down on my stomach. Right. Um, is there a lot of that in there when when you do core workout? Is like for someone who had a miscarriage or something? Like, is there something that they should do? otherwise until they're fully and completely healed or should that portion be skipped for a little while and that's yeah. i would say de depending on whatever the issue is of course the number one thing that needs to happen is um, medical clearance mm -hmm. so talking to your doctor first um but in terms of what to expect from the workouts if you haven't really seen them so you saw mma speed it sounds like that was the um we had the challenge du jour. It was the sneak peek workout. So that's right. six rounds of the stand up uh, combinations where you're, you know, you're kicking and punching. Yeah, and I actually definitely my sides were burning from that day. I couldn't do a whole lot of twisting because my ankle, but I still felt that in my sides. Yeah, so we have an excellent modifier, Jessica. She's giving tons of great modifications throughout the workouts, through all of the workouts, including uh, our strength based workouts, which are on, you know, a lot of the moves are on the floor. Uh, and I get questions like this a lot, just so you know. So I've got a lot of pregnant moms too. They're like, hey, can I do this program while I'm pregnant? And here's the thing, you you know, sometimes you're gonna have to get a little bit creative. For example, for pregnant moms, your bump is growing and you can't lie flat on the floor. And it's, you know, it, during your second trimester, you shouldn't lie flat on your back anymore. So, you know, we didn't, if I had it my way, I would have had a pregnant girl in the workout. <laughs> pregnancy options, but yeah, we, um, I didn't get the go ahead on that. So. I'm actually working on a list of some additional modifications for, you know, bump friendly modifications. But in terms of that question, I would say, listen to your body, listen to your doctor first and listen to your body. And if you, you feel like you need to modify something a little extra, then go for it. I mean, the great thing is you're actually, you're, you're doing the workout. Um, and that's the most important thing, you know, that if you're working through something personal or medical or whatever that is, it's great that you're actually just, you know, the best thing is you're getting yourself through a workout, and that's awesome. Okay. Um, thank you. And uh, one other question is, it, it also relies to the stomach. Are you familiar with um, rectus, I think it's rectus diastasis or yeah, uh, diastasis. diastasis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Do so you have any, um, uh, I don't know, I'm, my words are not there right now. I'm sorry. Well, I get, um, I get questions about that a lot. So that's what the separation and the stretching of the linea alba during pregnancy mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah. And it happened Two and a half years later, I'm actually still dealing with it. It's, it's much smaller than it used to be, but I'm still dealing with it. So yeah. I, I'm trying to naturally um, shrink it and do the best that I can. But, you know, I, I always like to get the opinions, if I can, of how I should go about that in certain yeah. exercises. Well, this is, you know what, Quarter Force is a great program for that strengthening your core. I mean, everything that we do is 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 based on working from a strong core and core rotation. Um, we have great isolated core moves in the program as well um, that are really beneficial and helpful to strengthen, you know, your core and help that problem. I don't know how severe your separation is. That would, you know, your doctor would be able to determine that. But for those of you guys that are curious to the diastasis recti, uh, the separation of the, the your six pack muscles, and it happens a lot to women during pregnancy. So if you can fit two fingers in, usually it happens around your, your navel. Um, 
or more, then that would be a significant. Uh, I was up to four when it first happened. Um, so I think it shrunk down to two. That's really great if you if you were able to to um, strengthen it that that much. Sometimes surgery is the only thing that could repair it. Um, but I'll say this: that you're doing the right thing just by exercising and strengthening your core back up. Um, some of my favorite moves are just isolated plank variations. So there's like the five minute core on the floor workout you guys get. We're just doing a lot of um, plank work and we're, we're, you know, moving through different plank, um, you know, plank options. <laughs> Those are really great, very functional at strengthening your core. So um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. It sounds like you're doing the right thing. Okay, thank you. And one other random question. Were you um, in the oxygen magazines at all? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a fitness magazine, and I thought I'd see. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with oxygen. It's um, I have no idea. Maybe <laughs> you look really familiar from one of my magazines. That's why I was like, maybe you have a doppelganger. Or I do have a double. I have an identical twin. Most people don't know that, but I do have a twin sister. She's not in fitness though. So, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Any last questions? It's 9.50 here on the East Coast. So if you, you guys, wanna... I don't even, like, I, I'm in bed by, like, 9.30 usually. <laughs> we, as coaches, we tend to work late, and it's Wednesday night, so it's, like, rank advancement night. Yeah, it's crazy Wednesday nights, right? There's some little kids waving at you. There's a little girl right there. She's waving really hard at you. I don't know if you can see. Her. I can't see her, but hi. <laughs> too cute you know what like and i'd be happy to if any of you guys have and i can't i guess i'll open the chat box to see if i have let's see there's no questions in the chat box now how do i get rid of this <laughs> wait any last questions um yes or if there's anything about the program that you guys aren't curious about and obviously tomorrow is december 1st it's going to be uh launching everywhere else um, besides the Team Beach Beachbody Network, which is really, really exciting. And um, I guess just to throw out a couple cool things. So we, we wrapped our coach test group and um, we've been absolutely blown away and uh, so, so excited to hear people's um, successes, not just physically, but you guys, the, um, the emotional and mental transformations that people are having from this program are so unbelievable. And there's something special, like Jatana, you were talking about having tears during your workout. This is, this is a really cool thing. Um, and I've had a few people come up to me and say, why? I don't know what it is, but every time I do quarter force, like I start crying or I get, I feel emotional. And um, there's some cool research out there if you guys have a few minutes to look into it. But uh, an Equinox actually just published a really cool article about um, workouts that make you cry. And there are workouts like martial arts and yoga, things that make you kind of tap into yourself in a different way. They access places in yourself that maybe just normal workouts like squats and deadlifts and bicep curls, you know, you're, you're more focused on the, the, um, the physical results that you're getting. There's something about kicking and punching and you're physically fighting and you were talking about, you know, we're all stressed out and we're, you know, dealing with holidays and the election stuff and, um, you are literally, you just, you feel like you're fighting for something. You're able to tap into something a little bit deeper and, you know, back to the results I was talking about. It's, it's really cool. Just, um, my favorite thing about this program is the amount of confidence and empowerment that I'm hearing people get from it. Uh, and the mental strength, their mindset is changing. And that is what is going to change people's behaviors and their patterns when it comes to leading a healthy lifestyle. Cause so many people fall off so easily. We all know that. And, um, everyone I think could use a little bit more self-love and self-confidence. And that's something that this program is really helping people achieve. So, um, hopefully you guys can take that away too. And just know that, um, this is not just an everyday, you know, workout program. That's like <laughs> mundane and monotonous. We have a lot of fun teaching together. We have a fun teaching dynamic. We bounce off each other a lot. And, um, we really do care a lot about the, um, the inner results that people are achieving. And I think that, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see people coming forward and reporting that they feel better um, and that they feel stronger <laughs> from the inside out. It's awesome. Absolutely. So last question, what do you 
see happening for your future? Like what else do you have going on? Do you think more programs are going to come out? Is it going to go live in the gym format? I know you can't say too much, but yeah, that's an awesome question. Well, um, now we, yeah, we, we can officially say that it is going live, thankfully. Um, and, uh, it'll yep. be 2017. What do I say? Like maybe the middle of next year. I can't get too detailed, but yeah, we are working on the live format. So we're really excited. You guys know, I, I told you guys I've come from the gym background and teaching group fitness, all different types of, uh, group fitness formats. And so that's, that's my jam. I love, I love teaching live. Um, so I'm super excited that it's going live. We're working on it. And, um, what else is in the, in the books? I'm not, you know, right now we're just really focused on quarter force. Um, there's, there's a lot of people out there that need, um, that need to get fit. And I think there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of opportunity out there. So I'm really excited that this program's starting off really well. Um, you know, we didn't really know like how, how, how's it going to land on people, mixed martial arts. Like it's going really, really well. So that's, that's the good news. And I'm super excited for whatever, whatever else is to come in my future in terms of programming for Beachbody. Very good. Thank you so much for taking time away from your sweet baby and your family. Uh, we, we understand that sacrifice. So we really, really appreciate it. Um, I know you guys do. Thank you. And by the way, I'm totally jealous of all your Christmas trees. <laughs> you don't have one yet. Oh, hopefully you'll get your Christmas tree up. And we would love to see you go live, talk about mommyhood and all of that. Thank on you. Your yeah, and guys, don't be shy either. I, hopefully you guys are, you know, involved uh, with my Facebook page and Instagram and whatnot. But please feel free to reach out with questions and stuff. I do. I answer all, by the way, I'll say that this is probably, I'm like not always on top of them every single day because sometimes my inbox just, totally explodes um, with messages and um, a week goes by or Thanksgiving and I'm like, Oh my gosh. So um, I will get to them though. And um, uh, I do get a lot of similar questions too, like mom questions. Obviously Joel doesn't get questions like that. So um, I'm happy to, to jump on and go live and you know, I'll, maybe I'll do that soon. And people that kind of, if you guys didn't think of a question tonight, if something comes up later on, I'm happy to answer it and uh, just love being interactive with you guys. So Please stay in touch. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. And we'll be seeing Joel at our DC Super Saturday on January 7th. So Yay, that's awesome. Exciting. Well, thank you so much, Jericho and Epic Coaches. I hope you guys were inspired. You're going to get your workouts in. And I'm excited to see everybody's before and after pictures. We have a little contest going on within our team to see who has the best transformation. And they're going to win a pretty fun prize. So. We'll let you know who the winner is. All right. Thank you so much, Jericho. And you guys have an amazing night. Did you all get your little screenshots? I hope so. <laughs> I'll stay on. Jericho, you know I'm going to slip. Or you can't because they probably want to, like, put a little arrow and point to you in it. Right smile. Good. You got it. Y'all are beautiful. Jericho is gorgeous. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Bye.